Now, how can you use the iCloud Mail on your Android? Uh, let's explain that. Now, at first, obviously, iCloud Mail has been designed for iPhones and Apple devices. And if you can use it on Android, well, you can, but it's going to be a little bit more complicated and it's not going to be as convenient. But basically, what you can do is access the iCloud Mail through a website. Like, you can literally just go to iCloud.com and there you can go to your account just sign in with the apple id and you can open up the mail section right there so you can uh, check out uh, some things in here like uh, you can uh, see the emails you can read them of course like it does work you have the ability to reply you have the ability to uh, type in a new mail and browse your inbox drafts and all of the other things which you would normally do right so it works kind of okay even though we are still on the web version. But honestly, it's still not ideal because you don't get any notifications and you are still using a web browser, so it's naturally not going to be as optimized or it's not going to run as smoothly. So as a backup method, let's say that you usually work with your iPhone, but sometimes you want to grab your Android. In such cases, it makes sense to sign into this like website thing and access your emails. But in other situations, if you work a lot on multi-platform devices, I would recommend you to switch to some platform which works seamlessly everywhere. You could technically also add the mail to some kind of mail client where as you know, you can just download any kind of mail clients as an app. And when you are trying to sign in with your provider, you're going to click on other and you're going to type in all of the like things like Apple ID .apple .com and just sign in with your account there, which is much more complicated. So I would just recommend you to use the web method depending on how often you need it. But this is my go to thing whenever I am on my Android. So this is what I can say and let you know about. Subscribe for more guides and videos like this one. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you later in the next videos.